All right, so this is the second part of the tutorial. The first one that we did, and let me just put some comments here. We secure um, line console zero, which is basically local access. All right, by securing line console zero. All right, and what we're going to do now is that we're going to configure remote access by configuring line um, virtual terminal lines VTY 0 to 4 which is basically um, 5 inputs that we could get using um, virtual terminal lines. So we begin by going to his router interface again all right, and I'm going to press the password. All right, I'm going to enable EN for short. And just bear in mind that we're going to um, configure virtual terminal lines. I'm going to tell net from inside of um, our PC that is that is on our packet tracer. We're going to conf T. And then we're going to set line 0 to 4. All right, my bad. Line VTY 0 to 4. And we're going to set a password. We're going to save the same generic password. A login. We're going to exit, exit again, copy run start, and then we'll show running configuration. All right, and as we could see, <coughs> that on our running configuration, both virtual lines from 0 to 4 as well as the console line that we did before, has somewhat of security. All right? Somewhat. And of course, on um, our virtual to lines, we could uh, tell net, and we could even set up um, even a more secure interface by using SSH. All right? So we already went to the PC and configured its interfaces already. And as you can see, the interface on the PC here, is um, 192168 let's close this as you can see 192168.1.100 and what we're going to do now first and foremost is to test by using the ping command to see if both if the PC could communicate with the router before we start um, our um, somewhat form of um, security on our router. So you'll go to our PC and we'll go to our command prompt. And we're going to ping its interface, ping router's interface 192.168.1.1. And we can see that there's some sort of communication that is taking place there. What we're going to do now is to tell net into our router using our PC because we already configured um, the PC interface. They're going to ask for the password that we set. And as you can see that we're in um, the router's interface. All right. So if you were to type EN, most likely we wouldn't get you because you would have to set up what you consider as an enabled password. And I'll show you what I mean here. EN, and they would say no password set because that is how Telnet works. As a secure thing, even though Telnet is considered as being the administrative best friend, they still have one or two um, um, somewhat, somewhat sort of a security, but we will need to set it up. So how do we set up our... Um, our um, or enable password so we could actually tell net properly into our, from our PC to configure the router. So we go to the router interface and we're already in the um, 
privileged exec mode all you need to get it into Kuba in configuration mode you will conf team some of these commands you all know already and we're gonna set an enable password and we we'll set this password as Cisco same thing all right we're gonna exit we're gonna do a copy run start All right, we do a show running configuration to see that the enable password is set. And what we will do now, we'll head back to our PC. We already in Telnet already in Tay, as you can see here. So we will type enable and we will see whether or not if it works or not. We we'll type the password. And as you can see, we have our routers interface. We could show a show running configuration. All right, and we can see that enable password. So this tutorial here shows us that we basically set up virtual terminal lines somewhat. Um, we set up first and foremost local access, choose line console zero, and then remote access using virtual terminal lines via Telnet. All right, so the next tutorial, we want to get a little bit more... Um, do a little bit more security in terms of um, configuring a, a more secure interface for our router.